the art of Filipino artist, Agnes Arellano. Drawing from rich personal experience and an extraordinary range of influences, she makes some of the most dramatic art in Asia. Best known for surrealist and expressionist work in plaster, bronze, and cold cast marble, Arellano's work tends to stress the integration individual elements into one totality or in a scheme. From Inscape 2, Myths of Creation and Destruction 1, the Carnot's Cornucopia of the year 1987, is having a color black background and sculpture made from cold cast marble that shows an off-white female figure that is headless and naked with hooves instead of feet and hanging upside down from slaughterhouse hooks using abaca ropes knotted on a black painted metal pane. The two arms of a woman are extending to the ground with ease and open palms. Also, from the ground, you can see a woman's upper body covered with unhauled rice and scattered egg-like figures coming out of her slashed abdomen and spilling to the ground, with visible skin flaps on both sides of the body. Besides, a sitting infant face forward was placed inside her abdomen. It is very visible that rice grains are being placed on the floor. Furthermore, the whole body is seen except of the head. For this work of art, it is evident that the shapes or figures are smoothed out and polished. The graceful and curved lines perfectly outline the female's figure, as contrasted by the rough and uneven incision line in the middle. Overall, the art components are concentrated at the bottom, hence they aren't evenly spread out nor are perfectly balanced. Also, the shapes are freeform or organic, so they are not precisely symmetrical. Moreover, no shapes are repeated except for the use of several round balls to depict the boundaries spilling out from the wood. The flow of these balls implies a movement that balances the lifelessness and stillness of the carcass. Forming the message of life and creation from death and destruction, the open womb, bulal, serpent, bounties, and mound of unhoused cries all together serve as the center of interest. The artist successfully captured the attention of her audience towards this focal point by focusing the elements in one area. The artwork subject centralized in both a representation from the natural world and the mythology as it depicts how life comes forth and suddenly leads to death through the portrayal of a woman and a bulon. It is scaled into a life-size sculpture with asymmetrical balance and geometric shape. Since it is referenced to a human body, the rhythm can be described as a duplication since the left part of the human body is the duplicate of the right side. Its dimension can be closely compared to the golden ratio which gave it a visual harmony. Altogether, the combination of asymmetry and uniformity in the sculpture has added depth into the art form. It gave it a sense of both chaos and order that adds emotion and meaning to the sculpture. Moreover, the application of the cool-toned white has further added unity and uniformity to the artwork. The elements and the principles of the sculpture has enhanced the visual representation, despite of a somewhat grotesque symbolism used, considering the intestine falling out of the stomach, its elements give it an aesthetic experience. At first glance, the inverted woman with hooves sliced up on her abdomen with a tiny human figure inside and a serpent and an rice coming out of it only shows that the sculpture is tragic, disturbing, and grotesque. The darkness of the background and the gruesome half-human and half-bovine sculpture maintain an overall dark and mythological theme. However, the artist used this subject matter as symbolisms. The actual idea of the art is rebirth and the spring of new life from death and destruction. It shows the irony that as birth atones for destruction, just as rebirth atones for death. It exemplifies how a person experiences the universe and how it works within. As audience says, it gives the feeling of valuing human existence. Just as life may come to pass, new forms of life may come forth.
His sculpture tells the story of the cycle of life, that our lives end and are reborn with our destruction, and one's existence does not stop with existing. One's death is a continuous process that occurs throughout our lives. Humans struggle, weaken, and sacrifice, which leads to death. The sculpture is a realistic art as this demonstrates the reality that women are expected to build the essential qualities for producing, caring, and raising children. If I were to explain this artwork to someone else, I can say that Carcass Cornucopia depicts how death may give birth to new life. A woman's figure was utilized to portray the function of a life in the formation of the creation in the sculpture, mirroring the woman's significance as mother. The wealth of the world flows out from the female's sliced abdomen, which is portrayed as a snake swimming in a pile of unhusked rice, whereas a miniature of Bulol, which is the Philippine harvest god, rests in the female's hollow carcass. A Bulol appears, along with eggs and grains, symbolizing life's creation and nourishment. Our Leonis Perkins for Nocopia presents a beautiful paradox of conflict between the creation and destruction of life. The female carcass is hung up using a metal hook with a gaping hole of her slash abdomen to conceptualize the destruction, while the stomach rip emerges a small bowl of serpent and a bounty using unhoused rice conceptualizes the creation. The main subject figures, the female carcass, small bowl all, and the serpent, are made from the sea same hulk as marble, representing this figure that share the same physical constituents, signifying a woman giving birth to a new life with her own biological constituents. Arlena greatly displays her expressionist work of using cold cast marble, incorporating symmetry and balance of duality of life and monochrome color to impart the spiritual purity of sacred femininity. When considering the theory of imitationalism, the work of Aureliano depicts a significant degree of realism, as the physical anatomy and proportions of the woman and the infant are accurate to actual subjects. The carcass naked skin shows a smooth and supple texture of a female's. Also, the incision in the woman's abdomen is similar to that of a cesarean delivery, of which is apparent in the way the folds and linings of the skin were splayed apart in the process. The added detail of all the entrails trailing down from her body adds realism by showing gravity's effects on the inverted hanging carcass. Perhaps what makes this art piece not completely realistic is that hooves were used instead of human feet. The woman is headless with no sign of decapitation and that the shape of the entrails on the ground are unrepresentative of human organs. As a whole, the piece is artistically done, in our opinion, with a remarkable display of technique and artistic style of expressionism. Arlianus Parcas Cornocopia portrays the intricacies of women's body and conveys the inherent meaning of the dichotomy of life. As the irony of the name presents by using the elements of symmetry and balance, carcass of a cut cup piece of dead human meat grants a sacred abundance that in cornucopia with pregnancy as the signifier of life. However, with the related body representation by using a cold cast marble, the artwork depicts how the life still remains from the progression of pregnancy to final slaughter. 